Hi, I'm Tyler, and welcome to another episode of my Christian Music Weekend Reviews. Each week I take five releases, be it LTPs or singles, and after I'm listening to them all week, I come back here and I repeat them, I share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get to this week's first release, Maverick City Music and Songhouse's new collaborative EP, Map House. Maverick City Music's new collaborative EP with production company Songhouse, Map House. Let's dive into it. So pretty good EP here. Stylistically, we hear the contemporary worship with some degree of gospel influence we're used to from Maverick City Music. But, on this CP, there's also a little bit more of an R&B influence here. The first two songs are upbeat, while the last three are all ballads. There's also a gospel choir at some point on each of the songs. And, as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. Maverick City Music and Songhouse talk about how when it's hard, when they're suffering in sin and from the distractions of other people's opinions, they need to keep praising Jesus that they can peacefully trust in him to, in his unconditional love through his death, change them free from that, to trust him, to make a way to victoriously reflect that change, and love to others who need that also. Up next, Flame's new album, Neo Evesos. Flame's new album, Neo Evesos. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good album here. So, let me just kind of talk about the tracklist structure here. So, after a lot of the songs, there are interludes called Table Talk. So, Let's, let's talk about the songs first. Stylistically, definitely a collection of hard-hitting hip-hop bangers that incorporate trap, lo-fi, and R&B influence. Vocally here, mostly rapping vocals from Flame, but there's some sing rapping and some singing. There is also talking on some of the tracks too, and each of the table talk interludes are conversations where Flame talks with various people over a hip-hop beat that goes pretty hard once it gets going. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And as for the lyrics here, so before I dive into my thoughts on the lyrics here, I'm gonna explain real quick. So, Flame writes this album from a Lutheran perspective. I myself am evangelical. That being said, there are some things here that I... There are some good points that Flame makes here, I think. There are also some points that I don't fully agree with that I think a little bit differently on. But anyhow, I'm going to summarize what Flame says and then I'm going to come back with my thoughts on that. So. Here's kind of my paraphrase of what Flame is saying here. And as for the lyrics here, Flame talks about how the evangelical church has ignored what God's word in church history says about Jesus Christ's grace coming through literal sacraments of communion and baptism to free us from sin and death to have life through his death and resurrection by dismissing the sacraments as mere symbols because of fear of Catholicism's ritual-oriented faith, but that can lead to evangelicals looking to their fruit of holiness as proof of salvation, rather than trusting faith in the salvation of Christ's grace through blood and water. So, let me just kind of break down my thoughts here. So, about the literal sacrament part, I, I personally hold to the evangelical belief that the sacraments like communion and baptism that Flame speaks of are on the symbolic side of things. That's what I hold to, even though 
They are very important, of course. And I also appreciate, though, too, how he points to a lot of evangelicals' hesitation about the physical sacrament interpretation. And I think I see this, in my view, a little bit, I will honestly admit, because of fear of Catholicism's ritual-oriented faith. So, a lot of times, I think the reason why I struggle with belief in physical sacraments is because I tend not to be able to separate from that ritual view in terms of how I look at the physical interpretation of that. So I appreciate Flame pointing that out there. And also too, um, I appreciate his point too about how sometimes as Christians we kind of examine, okay, am I doing this and this and this? Is this some Sometimes we do look to our fruit as proof that we are saved. And while, yes, if we are saved by Christ, we should be showing fruit in our lives. But on the other hand, I appreciate the danger that Flame points out here in looking to our deeds as a sign of if we've been saved. Because if we're not careful, then we can start to rely on our deeds, our fruit, rather than trusting our faith in Christ's salvation through grace and grace alone. So I kind of do appreciate that point a little bit. Overall, again, I obviously hold some different views on these things than Flame does as an evangelical, but I do appreciate the overall heart of what Flame is talking about here. The importance of salvation by grace, by Christ's grace alone, and putting our trust solely in that. I, I agree with that as the core point of this album. Up next, Citizen Way's new single, Praise, featuring Brooke Abala. Before I dive into my thoughts on Citizen Way's new single, Praise, featuring Brooke Abala, I have to thank Jake for requesting me this single. Now that I got that out of the way, let's dive into the song itself here. So, pretty good song here. I would say, though, that Brooke Abala definitely has more of the vocals on this track, while Citizen Way's lead singer... Ben Calhoun kind of provides a little bit more like supporting vocals here and there, I would say. But pretty good song, and Brooke sounds good. This is my first time hearing her. Stylistically, definitely an upbeat pop song. And as for the lyrics here, Ben and Brooke talk about how they joyfully praise Jesus that they can hope in him to, in his love and grace, be with them. To daily provide them with life in all circumstances, until they worship him in heaven. Up next, Aha Gazelle's new EP, September Season Pack, Volume 4. Aha Gazelle's new EP, September Season Pack, Volume 4. Let's dive into it before I do. Let me just kind of explain how this EP came to be. So, each week in September and into the first week of October, Aha Gazelle put out a single for that he called it his September season pack. And he put it now all into one EP. So let's dive into it. It's a pretty good EP here. Stylistically, definitely a collection of hard hitting trap bangers here. Vocally, we hear Aha Gazelle sing rapping, sing and rapping. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. You can really see Aha Gazelle's determination to provide for his family and reflect Jesus' love and grace to people throughout the CP. And as for the lyrics here, Aha Gazelle talks about trusting his faith in God 
to change him free from sin to push through pain of others doubting him to work hard to provide for his family as he seeks to reflect Jesus' love and grace to those in herd. Of next recipes for today, 808 Beezy's new EP, No Warnings 3. 808 Beezy's new EP, No Warnings 3. Let's dive into it. So pretty good EP here. Stylistically, the first two songs are hard-hitting trap bangers. And the last song, King Dove Citizen Flow, has a little bit more of a hard-hitting lo-fi hip-hop banger feel to it. Vocally here, all the vocals are rapping vocals here on this CP. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. 808 BZ talks about trusting his faith in God to in his grace through the cross. The faith we be with 808 BZ to make a way for him, excuse me, to overcome opposition to reach the streets with God's word that resurrected 808 BZ free. Well, that's it for this week. Come back next week for five more releases. If you like what's on this video, please subscribe. I put out videos every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time. Also, if you have any thoughts on today's releases or what I may have said about them, let me know down in the comments below. Also in the comments, you can let me know if there's any awesome releases that came out today that you want to see in next week's video. Also, check out the playlist section for my Means of Month Dream playlist available here on YouTube. And also on Spotify. And this month's edition of the playlist includes songs from artists like Sidewalk Prophets, The Afters, Seventh Time Down, and others. So go and check that out if you're interested. Well, go now. See you next week. Bye.